Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic starts off like any Star Wars movie or game should, and carries on in tradition throughout its entirety. In other words, if you love Star Wars games, you have to play this. It is Star Wars. This originally came out in July of 2003 for the original Xbox system. That's when I first played it, but now you can get it on the PC on Steam for only $9.99 and it's worth every penny. Bioware, the makers of the game, must adore Star Wars because they did an amazing job of capturing the look and feel of the franchise. There's a pretty in-depth character customization in which you pick a class, facial look, distribute attribute points, and skill points. You also choose which feats you want to start with. It's a lot of little things thrown in your face at the very beginning, but it's not too difficult to get the hang of the game quickly. Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! In the game, you'll come across all the familiar aliens and monsters, all while dishing out justice to evil Sith minions. The story is pretty good too. It's all about your group trying to figure out what the evil Sith Lord Malak is planning to do and what the source of his suddenly acquired power is. The game also does an awesome job of portraying your allies' backstories by interjecting these moments where, when they are in your active party, they will strike up a dialogue that leads into their past and their motives. It's a very natural way of going about it, and I like it because you learn about the characters that you use. So if, say for example, you don't use Candorous at all, well then you'll never learn about him. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. You will, of course, eventually get your own starship and be able to travel all over the galaxy visiting familiar planets such as Dantooine and Tatooine. Each planet has its own set of quests for you to play through in order to progress the story, and even though you can choose which ones to visit in whatever order you want, it's still pretty linear. My only gripe with the game is that you start off as a normal person and then later on you become a Jedi Padawan. This can create the issue where if you built up your character to be using heavy or even medium armor, you won't be able to use certain Jedi powers. There is no way you would know this until it's too late, and that is just bad game design. Still, it's not too big an issue if you're careful. <laughs> All in all, Bioware has produced the best Star Wars game that I have played to date. There are quite a few games that I have yet to play that take place in the Star Wars mythos, but this one in particular will always have a fond place in my heart.
Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Disclosure. I am a versatile protocol and combat droid, fluent in verbal and cultural translation. Should your needs prove more practical, I am also skilled in highly personal combat. Disclosure. Finesse. Battle droids hold battlefields. I'm capable of eliminating a very specific type of target. Retraction. Droids built for such a function face strict regulation and often have unique difficulties with previous owners. Objection. My former owners are indeed alive. Or at least I believe so, not having access to my memory. I therefore make no claim to that designation, prospective buyer. I am a law-abiding droid. Yes, indeed. Law-abiding. That's me. Request. Please do not speak so loudly, prospective buyer. Do you truly wish my price to be doubled? Statement. The fool Ithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed, and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward, and will be responsive to... aggressive bargaining. Statement. I wish only to be purchased, and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you, should you purchase me, please. <laughs>